Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one, we're going to be going back to the 80s and we're going to be showing you how to make some retro 80s text. And it's pretty popular, honestly, but I think it looks pretty sick. It's really easy, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, we got to get our text. So go down to the text tool on the left. Go ahead and click that and click somewhere on your canvas. And you'll see there's a flickering line. You just want to type in whatever you want to type in. So I'll just do a uh, Cambit. So now we want to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go up here to the size and you can either type it in manually or you can use the little scroller thing. But I'm going to type in 200 and hit that little check mark to confirm it. So now we're ready to start finding the font and then adding the effects to the text. So let's get to it. Okay, so first I have a font that comes to mind for this. So it's actually called Commando, I believe. And this works well because it's a thick text. So that's why I'm using it. I'm gonna change the fonts or the uh, size to 250 actually. So now we're ready to start adding some effects. So once you got your text, go ahead and double click on that layer and you should see a layer style box pop up. This is where you apply all of your effects to it. So we're only gonna be using the gradient overlay and satin which we'll be using after this so go ahead and check the gradient box and go over here to this little gradient color box just click that and this should pop up this is where you add all the colors you want so i'm going to start adding the colors basically you just click anywhere to add a new box and you can double click each box to add the color you want so i'm going to start with like a purple dark purple then I'm going to move into a light purple like this. And then I'm going to go to white. And then the next color is going to be a blue. And this is random. You can do whatever you want. This is just what I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to do a darker blue. And back to pink, pinkish purple. And then white at the end so i'm just going to move these the way i want to oh i think it looks good i think this looks pretty good i'm going to hit the okay down here and i'm going to add some satin go ahead and check that box and uh, you could turn the opacity up a little more maybe 49 and adjust the size or the distance i mean to about this and turn the size do about 20 yep and actually you can add some of that you can change the color to whatever you want but I think black looks pretty good honestly I like a gray and maybe you can mess with the blend mode all right so I think this is about how I want it hopefully this helped you guys if it did leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out